Beneath the sunlit streets of Naples and under the calm blue waters of the Bay of Pozzuoli, something terrifying is stirring. For centuries, this place has looked ordinary, just another stretch of Italy's coast. But hidden below is one of the most dangerous volcanoes on Earth, Campi Flegre, a vast supervolcano so powerful its past eruptions once blackened skies across Europe, and right now it's rumbling again. In just the last two years, thousands of earthquakes have rattled the region. The ground has risen by more than a meter, and now, gases are seeping out of cracks in the Earth's crust. Silent warning signs that pressure is building. Three million people live directly above this restless giant. Scientists admit that with every tremor, the risk of eruption grows. So here's the chilling question. Is Europe's deadliest volcano about to wake up? And if it does, what happens next? To understand why Campi Flegre is so feared, you have to know what it really is. This isn't a single mountain like Vesuvius, looming in the distance. Campi Flegre is far more deceptive. On the surface, it looks like a patchwork of towns, lakes, and rolling hills. But underground, it's a hidden monster, a 13-kilometer-wide caldera, formed by some of the most violent eruptions in Earth's history. About 39,000 years ago, one eruption here was so massive, it may have helped wipe out entire populations of early humans across Europe. Another, 15,000 years ago, blasted out enough material to reshape the entire Bay of Naples. These weren't just volcanic events, they were civilization-altering catastrophes. And that history is what makes today's unrest so alarming. Because Campi Flegre isn't extinct, it's alive. And scientists now say its crust has been so weakened by centuries of rising and falling pressure that it could take less force than ever before to crack it open, which leads to the unnerving possibility. The next eruption may not need a massive trigger. It might already be brewing, silently, beneath the streets of Naples. In the last two years, Campi Flegre has been anything but quiet. Over 3,000 earthquakes rattled the region in a single year, many of them shallow, just a few kilometers below the surface. That's not just random shaking, it's the Earth's way of saying pressure is building. And then came the strongest quake in four decades, a magnitude 4.2 that cracked streets, damaged buildings, and forced schools to close. Thousands of residents fled their homes, sleeping in cars, or moving into emergency shelters. For the people living above this giant, every tremor feels like a coin toss. Is this the start of something bigger? But earthquakes aren't the only warning sign. The ground itself is rising, more than a meter in places, pushed upward by magma and gases below. Imagine a pot of water on the stove, the lid rattling before it bursts. That's Campi Flegre right now. And the gases escaping through cracks? Sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, both linked to magma rising closer to the surface. Put together, the message is clear. The system isn't calming down. It's getting angrier. Scientists warn these signs mirror what happened before the last eruption here, back in 1538. But this time, the stakes are unimaginably higher. Back then, Naples was a small coastal town. Today, more than 3 million people live inside the blast zone. So the question isn't just if Campi Flegre erupts again, but when and how bad it could get. So what happens if Campi Flegre really erupts? The best case scenario isn't comforting. A smaller blast, like the one in 1538, could still destroy entire neighborhoods, blanket Naples in ash, and displace hundreds of thousands of people. Imagine airports shut down, roads cut off, power grids collapsing, all within hours. But scientists warn that the system beneath Campi Flegre is capable of something far worse. In the most extreme case, a super eruption could eject over a thousand cubic kilometers of material into the atmosphere. That's more than 100 times what Mount Vesuvius unleashed in 79 AD when it buried Pompeii. Such an event wouldn't just devastate Italy. Ash clouds could spread across Europe, grounding flights, poisoning farmland, and plunging global temperatures for years. Billions of tons of sulfur dioxide could trigger what's called a volcanic winter, a short-term ice age that disrupts food production across continents. Here's the unsettling truth. The cracks beneath Campi Flegre have weakened so much that it might not take a full magma surge to trigger a rupture. Some researchers describe it as a boiling pot with a thinning lid, and once the lid gives way, there's no stopping what comes next. So, is Campi Flegre building toward a Pompeii-style disaster, or something the modern world has never seen before? With the ground trembling and the crust weakening, how prepared are we if Campi Flegre really decides to erupt? The Italian government has spent decades trying to answer that. Civil protection authorities have installed thousands of sensors across the region, monitoring every twitch of the ground, every whiff of gas, every rumble from below. 
Satellites track the caldera from orbit, measuring even millimeters of uplift, and scientists drill deep into the Earth, pulling up cores to decode the volcano's hidden chemistry. On paper, the defenses look strong. Evacuation routes are mapped. Sirens and alert systems are in place. Plans exist to relocate up to half a million people from the highest risk zones. Every year, emergency drills remind citizens what to do if the ground splits open. But here's the uncomfortable truth. Planning for a disaster of this scale is almost impossible. In a city of three million, even a single day of warning could spark gridlock, panic, and chaos. Roads would jam, shelters would overflow, and misinformation would spread faster than officials could contain it. That's why some experts argue the real risk isn't just the eruption itself, it's human response. In the age of viral news and social media, fear can paralyze a city long before the first ash cloud rises. Meanwhile, the science community is racing to understand just how close Campi Flegrei is to breaking point. Recent studies show the crust is so fractured that even small pressure changes could set it off. One volcanologist compared it to walking on thin ice. You might not know it's breaking until it's already too late. So while monitoring has never been better, the sobering reality remains. No sensor, no satellite, no drill can tell us with certainty when the eruption will come. The only guarantee is that time is running out to be ready. If those warning signs weren't enough, 2025 brought discoveries that make Campi Fligre's future seem even more unpredictable. First, artificial intelligence is rewriting what we know about quake patterns here. A new AI model has exposed thousands more micro-earthquakes hidden in the noise, events that traditional methods missed entirely. Researchers now estimate over 50,000 distinct quakes in the Campi Flegre region from 2022 to mid-2025 alone, clustered within shallow depths under four kilometers. This suggests the system is far more active than previously believed. Then there's the structural news. Scientists recently discovered a deep fracture or hidden cavity deep beneath the caldera. This crack links deep magma zones and surface faults, possibly acting as a stress conduit, meaning when pressure rises, it may channel unexpectedly. On the 30th of June, 2025, the volcano's shaking claimed a new record, a magnitude 4.6 earthquake, the strongest ever registered in the area. Simultaneously, satellite and ground data confirm that parts of the caldera have uplifted nearly 1.4 meters since 2005, at this scale, even small increases in pressure or gas could crack the system open. CO2 emissions add fuel to the fire. At the Solfatara Piscias Reli zone, the volcano is releasing upwards of 4,000 to 5,000 tons of carbon dioxide per day, among the highest volcanic fluxes recorded globally. This level of degassing may indicate magma is creeping higher, pushing volatile gases upward. Still, a note of caution. Imaging studies show that although the upper crust is teeming with shallow seismicity, no clear evidence yet points to magma migrating upward below approximately 3.7 kilometers. In other words, the engine may be primed, but the lid hasn't yet cracked. So where does that leave us? If Campi Flegre slumbers on, we may avoid disaster. But if the fracture above gives way, or gas pressure overwhelms weakened rock, the next eruption could leapfrog typical warning signs. A VEI-7 event could choke the skies, collapse global transport, plunge agriculture into chaos, and trigger a volcanic winter that affects food supply from Europe to Asia. Every quake, every uplift, every molecule of gas carries possibility, not just for Naples, but for a world reliant on stable climate and global trade. Campi Flegre is more than just another restless volcano. It's a reminder that Earth's greatest forces often hide in plain sight, waiting in silence until the moment they decide to speak. Right now, the signals are undeniable. Rising ground, relentless earthquakes, record-breaking quakes, surging gases, and a crust that scientists say is thinner and weaker than ever before. But here's the chilling truth. Even with all the satellites, sensors, and studies, no one can say when or how it will erupt. It could be a small phreatic burst that blows off steam. It could be another Monte Nuovo, reshaping neighborhoods and lives. Or it could be something far bigger, a supervolcano event unlike anything humanity has witnessed in recorded history. History reminds us what even a single eruption can do. In 1815, Indonesia's Mount Tambora erupted and plunged the world into what became known as the year without a summer. Crops failed, famine spread across continents, and that was one volcano. Campi Flegrei has the power to unleash even greater chaos. A major eruption here could darken skies, disrupt air travel across Europe, cripple agriculture worldwide, and plunge global temperatures for years. It wouldn't just be Naples at risk, it would be all of us. And that uncertainty is what makes Campi Flegrei so dangerous. The question isn't just if it will erupt, but whether we'll be ready when it does. So I'll leave you with this. 
do you think the world is prepared for an eruption of this scale? Or are we underestimating a ticking time bomb beneath one of Europe's most historic cities? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'll be reading them. And if you want to keep exploring the hidden forces shaping our planet, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss what comes next. Because Campi Flegre may not be done reminding us that Earth, not humanity, is in control.